Hey guys, in this video I'm going to show you four different Easter designs to wear these Easter holidays. All four have got different difficulty levels and you can mix and match them to suit you. The first is this pastel gradient Easter bunny and carrot pattern design. For the gradient you're going to need to start with a dry white base and I'm going to apply a peel off barrier around my nail on the skin to help with clean up later. I'm using Liquid Palisade by Kiesk and it's my favourite to use. I'm using the French tip brush as I get closer to my cuticles with this one, but if you don't have a peel off product, I have a video here to show you how to make your own. Taking a makeup sponge, apply the polishes generously across the sponge and then sponge them down onto the nail. Don't press the sponge on too many times as it's going to start to rip apart and leave little bits on the nail. Reapply the polish again and repeat the process until you're happy with the opacity and the blend of the polishes on the nail. Remove the peel off barrier with the tweezers and then with polish remover and a small brush clean up your cuticles to get a clean and professional finish. Apply top coat to smooth it all down and seal the polish. For the carrot pattern start with a dry white base and taking a thin nail art brush and an orange polish paint long thin triangles onto the nail in an even pattern. Clean up any edges with white polish if you need to get the triangles more even. Add the stems and the leafy part of the carrot with a thin brush and green polish and then seal and smooth it all out with a top coat. Finally for the Easter Bunny start with a purple base and using white polish and the polish brush paint a circle onto the end of the nail making sure that you've left enough room on the top of the nail for the bunny's ears. With a thin nail art brush and white polish draw on two lines as guides where the ears are going to be and then fill them in. With a small brush clean up any mess on your cuticles and then with a pink polish and a small nail art brush, fill the inside of the bunny's ears in. Use the same pink polish and a medium dotting tool to add a nose, and with a larger dotting tool and black polish, add two eyes. Using a white polish, apply the eye details, and I added two tiny dots to give the bunny a kawaii look inspired by my girl Hannah, also known as the Nail Trail here on YouTube. I'll make sure to link her channel down below. Add a mouth with black polish and apply a top coat to smooth it all down and seal the polish onto the nail. The finished result is this cute and really traditional Easter mani. The next design is this easy Easter chick and dotted cure design. Start with a yellow base and since we're going to be using a nail vinyl, apply a top coat so that you don't peel the base polish up when you remove it. I'm going to be using a wide zigzag tape from What's Up Nails for the cracked egg. Apply it to the nail and paint white polish under it to the tip of the nail and quickly remove the tape. Add two eyes with black polish and a dotting tool and while that dries, take a thin nail art brush and orange polish and draw a beak. If you want to make this part easier, you can fill this in above the vinyl before you remove it, like this. With a medium sized dotting tool and white polish, add the detail to the eyes and again I'm making the eyes kawaii. So with a small dotting tool, add two smaller dots at the top of the eyes. And then seal it all down with a top coat when you're done. For the Dotty Cure, I'm using a small dotting tool and orange polish. I have a full tutorial on Dotty Cures here that you can watch for some extra tips. Seal it all down with a top coat when you're done. The third design are these matte spring flowers and a pastel gradient Dotty Cure. Now these aren't the traditional Easter designs, but are still perfect for Easter. For the flowers, start with a dry blue base and then taking a dotting tool and pastel polishes, dot flower shapes all over the nail until you're happy with the amount. Take a thin nail art brush and a green polish and paint some grass and flower stems onto the ends of your nails and then seal it to smooth it all out with a matte top coat. For the pastel dotty cure, you're going to need a few different sized dotting tools and a white base. Start dotting the first polish onto the nail and I find it easier to start with the bigger sized dots first, then do the medium ones and then finally fill in any gaps with the smallest dotting tool. Do the same with all the remaining colours and then finish it with a matte top coat. A non-traditional Easter manicure, perfect for spring. And finally, the last design are these pink and chocolate bunny, Easter egg baskets and dotty cure mani. That's a mouthful. For the Easter basket, start with a nail that has the base coat applied. Paint the eggs on first, about halfway down, with pastel polish and a thin nail art brush, adding as many as you want. With a brown polish, take the brush and paint across the tip of the nail to make the base of the basket. With the same brown polish and a large dotting tool, paint dots around the entire cuticle of the nail and the top of the basket and then fill in any gaps with a small nail art brush. Don't worry, this part is very messy. 
Clean up around the cuticles with a small brush and polish remover and then take a darker brown and line the dots with a thin nail art brush. And draw a crisscross pattern onto the basket. I decided last minute that I wanted to outline the eggs also, so I did this with darker versions of each polish that I used. But in the future it would be a lot easier for me to do this before I put the basket on. Apply top coat to smooth it all down and seal the polish. To do the chocolate bunny silhouette, start with the pink base and then draw the outline of the bunny's body, then the head and finally the ears. Fill it in with brown polish and then with white polish and a small dotting tool, dot on a bunny tail. Seal it all with a top coat and to smooth it all out. Add some dots to the other nails to finish the look. And the final result is a pink and chocolate Easter theme design. I hope you guys enjoyed watching these tutorials and maybe even found your Easter Manny design for this year. If you did then please give this video a big thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss any new videos.